What did you think when Alex first came to you with this role of playing the president? I, I mean, I am very enamored of Alex, uh, and I always hope that he'll have something for me to do. I was pretty surprised, to be honest. Um, I was surprised the first time he, he called me to be in his show, Devs. Um, but he has an incredible imagination, and he's able to take, you know, a potato face like myself and, uh, and use his alchemy and, and his skills as a novelist to say, like, I'm going to take what the audience might expect from Nick Offerman, and then I'm going to turn that on, on its head in a way, or I'm going to use that against the narrative so, so that perhaps you'll, you're like, oh, it's that guy. Oh, shit. It's a, you know. And I think he, he does that with other actors in the cast as well. But I, I was just over the moon. If, he makes, if he's making something, I hope he invites me to be in it. And there's obvious comparisons to Trump here and obviously our political climate. How closely did you kind of want to play that? It honestly didn't even come up. Um, it's so unrelated to any actual uh, factions or politicians. Um, everybody, that, that's what, what I think is so brilliant about this film, is that everybody on any side of the aisle or, or any faction has a lot to say, and, and uh, uh, we're all immediately divisive and partisan in our conversations. Everybody's mad about those, jer those other jerks, and this movie transcends that and has n none of it. It's about all of us, and I'm so grateful for that. I think it's so brilliant. It's so thoughtful of Alex. It would be so easy to make this movie and lay in some Easter eggs and, and like, you know, some of this or that, but that you would lose half your audience one way or the other. And instead, this is like a great novel. It's for everybody to say, oh, maybe heading towards uh, war in our country is not the best route. Maybe we should reconsider the direction we're heading. And you have California and Texas teaming up together, so that seems to naturally kind of break down some of the, the logical kind of separation. I think so. I mean, uh, I, th I think that serves a few purposes, but one of them is to immediately say this is clearly not where we are. Like, th this is not supposed to represent the, the world as it is. But I, I think it also serves to say it, the way the world is working these days, anything is is possible and so quickly. I mean, things move and change so quickly. Uh, but yes, I'm, I'm glad that uh, that California and Texas are not teaming up in any way anytime soon. Um, and you guys shot this two years ago, and it's obviously now coming out six months before the election. What do you kind of think about feeling about the timing of that? I mean, there's an election uh, every every couple of years, uh, from, from from what I can tell from my mailbox, and um, and so Alex wrote this in 2020, um, and so I, you know I think that uh, any any material like this, if he wrote it last year and it came out in two years, it's still going to be on the cusp of a midterm election. Um, and so again, I think um, I think I think that's what's brilliant about it is that it transcends the ongoing politics, not just in our country. Of all, there, there are so many countries where fascism is knocking at the door or ruling the roost, and this this film sort of addresses that tendency in all of human civilization, where it's like if we keep this, if we keep up with our misinformation and like these people do bad things and their voters don't hear about it, then we're, go we're going to end up killing each other. Is that what we want? And some of the commentary around this film has kind of been like, is this going to incite violence? Is this going to kind of rough people up? Do you have any concerns about that, that that'll start anything? No. Okay. I mean, no, I think that's, that's part of uh, our modern discourse. One of the problems with our modern discourse is people want that chewy, they're like, ooh, ooh. What's it, a movie called Civil War? How, let's let's sell a bunch of media hits on this. When, when when you see the movie, you're like, oh shit! It's actually just super intelligent and a kick-ass movie that n none of us c can legitimately get mad about because it's just a, a beautiful piece of art.